Hi, welcome to Wilson's Weekday Wines. Tonight we are drinking a Clos de Val Estate Merlot. Now Merlot is not necessarily my thing, but I had fond memories of Clos de Val many years ago and I got a little whimsical and decided to order some. I'm not up on my wine terminology, but when I hear black currant as a flavor descriptor, I think this is it. There's also some fruit. There's some blackberryness to it. Not, not jammy. Slightly dry in the mouth. Um, Full body though, and I'll, I'll I'll be honest. I was really surprised how much this changed after decanting it and leaving it. Uh, well, I didn't leave it because I had a glass of wine immediately, but the glass that I had at the end of the bottle when it had been decanted for over an hour improved quite a bit. Yeah, I definitely get the the black fruit on the nose. This is a 2015. So there's still, there's still some tannin, um, but it's it's smooth. I mean, it's a it's a nice wine. It's not as fruity as I prefer from the Rhone varietals, but it's nice. It's very drinkable. You know, really, really improved after it had been open for an hour. Um, it was more tannic and tart, I think. I didn't get the blackberry when I first opened it. So, on the whole, good bottle of wine, $55 bottle. Uh, I think it um, it's complex. It has really good body. I drink it again. I think it's right on in the price point. I've got another bottle of it, so we will open that again sometime. So, Clone of All, glad to be uh, enjoying it once again. It's been a while for me, and I've got a different bottle I ordered from them. Higher price point, though, so we'll be trying that one at some point on the channel. But uh, check them out. They've got a bunch of different wines, a lot of whites and some Pinot. Uh, some other blends so like I said I'm going to keep trying to bring you new stuff on the channel and new things that I'm drinking and try to expand all of our horizons so with that I'll close cheers thanks